Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and actually this will be the first of two videos today. I have an interview with Dendel coming up in a little bit, and she has been a friend for three years. And sometimes with your friends, it's their worst day that you realize how much you care about them. And she talks about her new single that just came out, and it really all results from this day she had a couple years ago. And I assured her that my audience is respectful and mature, and when it's your friends, all you want them to be is happy and loved. And this story has really touched my heart over the last couple of years, and I always figured we would talk about it someday on my channel, and today's the day. But today I wanted to talk about something that is kind of related to some videos I have made over the past few weeks in Turkey. There is a whole area that is going to be flooded, and there is a lot of archaeological sites that are going to go underwater in this area and we are going down to Hassan Kiev, Turkey and I have talked a lot on my channel about how we treat history but I know others like Matt at Ancient Architects he talked I believe about a road system going through Stonehenge and he has talked about some other places where history is being threatened and if we don't talk about this how will people ever know about this and want to get involved in saving these ancient sites well I think this is important but you see right here, the Sirhoyuk is right here. This is Kortik Tepe, and really right between them here, this is Hassan Kiev, Turkey. And if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sure somebody will correct me. But this whole area along the river here, there are ancient settlements that go back at least 12,000 years. I've talked about some of them, but this is the area here that is going to be totally flooded. There are ruins in this area that go back. 10, 12,000 years, but this is all going to be lost to history. Let's just read a little. Now, this is the Atlantic. This story came out about four days ago. It says, the town of Hassan Kiev, Turkey, is one of the oldest continuously inhabited settlements in the world with evidence of people living there as far back as 12,000 years ago. In a matter of months, most of the ancient town will be abandoned, flooded by a reservoir rising by, behind the Elusu Dam, one of Turkey's newest and largest hydroelectric projects, the controversial project will affect 199 upstream settlements along the Tigris River. Despite objections from international and local groups over the displacement of thousands, the loss of archaeological sites, interference with nomadic groups, environmental impact, and water sharing issues with downstream Iraq, Turkish authorities quietly began filling the reservoir this summer. Residents of Hassan Kiev were provided with a new town to move to, 700 new houses and supporting buildings be three kilometers up the hill from the old town. Some of the centuries-old monuments and mosques from the old town were relocated to the new town as well. The Turkish government has given residents until today to evacuate. And here, maybe a mosque being moved over the street here on some massive platform truck here. Here it says in this photo taken on May 5, 2011, the Tigris River flows past the old town of Hassan Kiev with the remains of a destroyed bridge and fortress and some ancient ruins right here in this area, all going to be submerged. So this is just another case of current progress and kind of ancient history and archaeological sites just kind of thrown by the wayside. Progress. Do we not do something just to save some archaeological features? Well, that seems to be dismissed by people who are running governments. Here is a look at the area that's going to be flooded. Here is a pic from a week ago as rising waters slowly cover up a village here. Here is one of the gentlemen affected. He will lose his job as a tour guide as waters rise in the area. Here is the town of Hassan Kiev and a 60 meter rise in waters well i haven't even calculated that to feet but i imagine almost 200 feet rise all this is going to be underwater in the recent weeks i guess it's been kind of a scramble to uh, evacuate here is a look at a centuries old bathhouse as they call it here being moved up a road to higher ground here the man watches the body of his mother being moved to a cemetery on higher ground but in this area where there is probably numerous ancient settlements that go back 12,000 years, this area that is known as the Fertile Crescent, this is going to be lost to history. And the only way further archaeological work will be done here is if you have scuba equipment. Here's a photo taken October 3rd, ancient village 
near Hassan Kiev that will be lost to history underwater. But there are a lot of periods of history represented in the ruins of the area. Here, some very ancient cave systems are going to go underwater. And I'm sure there's plenty of sites that are still buried right under the ground that people know about, but won't be able to work on and research. And here is the very important site at Korchik Tepe. I talked about this a couple weeks ago. I believe this site comes from the era right before Gobekli Tepe and might explain where the builders came from. But I just have a tough time even thinking about all these ancient sites that come from the Younger Dryas period, a super important period of history that we should learn about that are going to be lost underwater. I've already done a video on Navali Chorai, another site in Turkey that was inundated when a dam was being built here, the oldest layer going back to 12,500 years ago. Here a gentleman rows a boat over towards the village of Mardin, which will be swallowed up by the rising waters. But the people of Hasan Kiev, Turkey, I imagine this is a pretty traumatizing time as waters take over their ancient city. But I know I had a lot of comments on my videos on Kordik Tepe and a couple others about this uh, dam being built and all these ancient sites. I know Graham Hancock posted a story on his ancient history news desk, but I just thought I would talk about this. Hope you thought that was interesting, and you all have a very nice day.